Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Hopefully you guys have had a great week. We've had a good week here, getting ready for school to start. And uh, I'm excited to bring you some holiday projects today. I know it's still August and it's weird, but it, hey, it is what it is. Let's have something to look forward to, right? The holidays. So today's Facebook Friday is all about the Celebration Tidings bundle in the new 2020, let's see if I can say the whole name, 2020 Stampin' Up, no, no, August 2020 to December 2020 Stampin' Up Holiday Mini Catalog. <laughs> in short, we're calling it the Holiday Catalog because I can't even remember what it's called. All right, let's see if I am in the right place. Good, I am. All right. All right, so hello everybody who's joining, thank you. And if you're watching in the replay, hello to you as well. Today, I've got three projects. Um, going through three different holidays. All right, so one could be Halloween, one could be Thanksgiving, and one could be Christmas. I know, it's so weird, right? It's like a thousand degrees outside and we're already talking about the holidays. Hey, Laura, good to see you guys. Okay, uh, let's see, where should we start? If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I just want you to know that you can hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com, that's my blog. Under the last photo, you'll find a PDF for today's projects. Um, there are three projects, and if you would like to get them for free in the mail next week, you can do that by getting uh, putting in an online order between now and Monday at midnight. There's a host code on that PDF, as well as on my blog, and when I flip the camera over today, you'll see it on my workspace as well. Um, okay, where should we start? Would you guys like to see the adhesive kits? I, I gave you a little sneak peek. So a few weeks ago, I asked if you guys would be interested in adhes adhesive kits, and I heard from lots of you that you would be. So then I did a poll asking you what adhesives you would like to see in your adhesive kits, and I was very surprised by what I saw. Um, none of the new things really ranked up very high, which was kind of my idea for the adhesive kits. I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to try the new adhesives. So I came up with kind of a meat in the middle for these kits. Um, the first thing that you're going to notice is the super cute bag has my logo on it and it's the perfect little size to carry your adhesives um, it's a great little tool kit um, when we go back to classes in person and we go to crops and stuff this is a really really cute bag perfect for adhesive scissors bone folder take your pick tool all of that it's a great size so your adhesive kit is this bag inside your adhesive kit you will find first off a brand new stamp and seal this is our new basic tape runner, and I really like it. So I felt like you needed one of those. You will also find a pack of dimensionals. We can't live without these. You will find a pack of mini glue dots. Also, we can't live without these. You will find a bottle of Tombow liquid adhesive. This was something that really surprised me. Majority of you guys said, yes, I want Tombow. So we're throwing it in there. Now, for the two new adhesives that I love, to keep the price down, I thought I'd give you a sample of them. So the foam adhesive sheets, I love these. I've told you guys they're like giant dimensionals that you can cut into any shapes or sizes that you want. You'll get two sheets of those. And then last but not least, you're gonna get a third of a pack of the adhesive sheets. These are the ones you can put on the back of your cardstock when you're doing die cuts, and they turn your die cuts into stickers. So you get a little sampling of this, which is a third of a pack is quite a bit, and um, two sheets of the adhesive, foam adhesive sheets. And then everything else is full packs, okay? So all of that comes in the little adhesive kit. And I ordered the adhesive when it was tax-free here in Texas. So I'm passing that savings on to you. Um, your price will be catalog price. Um, now there are some little fees in there that, you know, to process credit card payments, that's in there and the little um, bag price, which is just a couple of dollars because I bought them in bulk, they're so cute. Um, and then shipping. Shipping is always an issue. Shipping, I'm going to stick with my flat rate priority mail shipping that I always do. That's the best way I could come up with it. Honestly, you guys, even if you don't ship flat rate, first class mail comes up pretty high as well. But when you when you ship uh, priority, you get automatic insurance and tracking on it, which is really important. So shipping will be $8. Um, now, 
there are some things you can add on to your adhesive kit if you want. I've, I've offered um, the Stampin' Seal Plus. So this is a tape runner that is even stronger than Stampin' Seal. So you can add that to your kit. You can also add on a refill of either the Stampin' Seal or the Stampin' Seal Plus. Okay, and both, I'm giving you catalog price, tax-free, because that's what I paid for it. Um, these are cash and carry, so any of you who are concerned, don't worry. Stampin' Up! demonstrators can order adhesive and sell them to you when you need them. So that's what I've done, and I have made them really cute little kits. Now, there's limited quantity of these, obviously. I didn't really know how many to create, so I have set up my little store for you if you want to order one or two or three or whatever. Um, and it's set up to however however many I have. Now, if I sell out and there's lots of you who want more, I will, of course, order and put together some more for you. Um, the link for that is at, on today's blog post as well as on the PDF. Now, just so you know, I made a little list here. The adhesive kit is $33 and it includes a stamp and seal, packet, full pack of dimensionals, a bottle of Tombow, a full box of mini glue dots, two foam adhesive sheets, a third, oops, that's wrong. It should say a third pack of adhesive sheets and a cute adhesive tote. Um, so $33 plus $8 shipping. If you're local here in San Antonio and you want one of these and you want to do porch pickup and not pay the $8 shipping, then uh, message me and I will send you an invoice separately because the price on my store already includes the shipping. Um, and then you can add on those three things as well. Okay, so those will be there until they sell out. Uh, the link will be on my blog post. I'll send out an email probably this weekend too, but I'm giving you guys um, first dibs here on Facebook Live. There's quite a few. I don't think we'll sell out of those too quickly. Um, I took advantage of tax-free weekend for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna flip the camera around because I wanna also show you one last time. Um, cute little playful pets class to go. The deadline is Monday. I feel like it's the deadline's been really far until all of a sudden it's not really far. Suddenly here it is. Deadline is Monday. Let me move my Kindle out of the way. Oh, thanks, Linda. I'm glad you like that. All right, so here is my P playful pets class to go. Um, if you've never done a class to go with me, they are delivered right to your mailbox. You need the stamps and dies and the class to go option. There's several options. One includes the die in the stamp set and one doesn't include the die in the stamp set in case you already have it. Your class kit will include materials, make and take packs for the fire hydrant candy dispenser, for the little clear treat box and four cards, two of which are fancy folds. And you'll also get um, half a pack of paper and a full pack of the Playful Pets ribbon. When you buy option one, that's the option with the, the bundle, you're actually getting this for free. Um, there's also the PDF only version as well. You can um, click on the link on my blog. It'll take you to the blog post. There's a direct link there for the PDF. It's in my PDF store. If you want to register for the class, you have to email me for that registration link. I can't list that on um, social media or on my blog. I can only send it through email. So if you would like to register for this class, deadline is Monday. Um, and what else was I going to say? I guess that's it. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite classes I've ever made. I love the Playful Pets suite of products. All right, what else should I tell you? I feel like there was something else I was gonna tell you guys. Um, this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle is the In Good Taste Suite. The All-Star Tutorial Bundle are 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. We all submit a tutorial um, and we're all using the same bundle of products. This month it's the In Good Taste Suite from the annual catalog. And every tutorial has a video. Every, it, this, this time we didn't type up the directions, we filmed individual videos. So it's links to 12 individual videos, okay? And here's mine this month. It's falling apart. I've 
been throwing it around. You can get this for free when you spend uh, $50 with me online. Uh, you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. And then, of course, my team always gets it for free. Um, let's see. I just Something just popped in my head about that, and I cannot think of what it was. Well, in, in and out. Who knows? I was going to tell you something else. What was it? Hmm, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, I think I've done all the announcements. I feel like there was other things to tell you, but I guess, oh, I do know what I was going to tell you. Well, I was going to bring it over here and show you. I guess I will. I'll bring it over and show you part, part, parts of it. Next month, I've just finished my classes for next month. So next week, you'll see registration links for these. Club Create, we're doing the beautiful Autumn Goodness bundle. This is just a sneak peek of some of them. If you want to join Club Create, I posted about that yesterday, or day before yesterday. You can find details of that on my blog. And then the other class, I'll show you two of the projects. The other class I just finished is the Halloween class. I, I literally finished it 20 minutes ago and I love it. So this will be coming out next week. So be on the lookout for that. I've got to have my, um, my friend Lisa proofreads all my PDFs now. I've got to have her do that. She's got to make sure I didn't make any big giant mistakes. And then I will be able to list that class, both of the, well, the class to go next week. And then um, you can sign up for the Autumn Goodness Club Create anytime between now and the 7th. And I, I posted about that two days ago. Okay? Okay. Prizes. Hello. We always love prizes. Last week's two winners are Melissa Siebert and Diane Little. Melissa, I do believe I have your mailing address. Diane, I don't think I have yours. Um, so message me, please, so I can send you your prize. Ladies, thanks for sharing my video on Facebook. I really do appreciate it. Um, and congratulations. So this week, I've got two stamp sets from the holiday catalog, the Press On stamp set, oh, which... You know what? I don't have any more. I used the stamp set for my In Color Club cards this month. I need to post those next week. I forgot all about that. Really cute stamp set. This will probably be a Facebook Friday in September. I just love the stamp set. So if you would like to enter in a if you would like to be entered into a drawing next week for a free stamp set, just share on Facebook and just type in the comments that you shared. Um, if we're Facebook friends and you share it publicly, I can see it. But if you share it privately or into a private group, or if we're not Facebook friends, I can't see it. It's really weird. So if you'll just type shared in the comments, I'll put you in the drawing. Okie dokie. Um, all right. So Facebook Friday. If you haven't joined me before, here's the three things we're going to make today. Um, this is like a little mini card class that I do every week. And I will send you the make and takes for free. Um, with an online order. Now your order minimum has to be $35 and you need to use this host code, which is right here. And it's gonna be on the little sign when I move it down. Um, on You have until Monday at midnight on Tuesday morning. The first thing I do when I get up is I pull off my um, order list and I pull out everybody's name who ordered and I cut that many packets. And this is what the packets look like. Here's last week's. Um, you will need the stamp set and the dies. So this week it's the Celebration Tidying stamp set and the Celebration Label um, dies. Everything else I will have done for you. Look, last week I even tied bows. I try to do that, I don't always have time, but sometimes I do. Um, I don't do any of the stamping for you. So you've got to have the stamps, the ink, and the Celebration Label dies for this week. Um, I, uh, I still have not figured out how to turn off those notifications. I need to do that. But anyway, you get a little thank you tag. They come in the mail for free. All you have to do is put in your online order. All right. So here, gosh, goodness. I've been saving up extras, you guys, for a, for, remember in February, I did that big, you guys were so excited. I did that big extra kit sale. Well, I'm saving them up again. So eventually I will have extra kits for sale too. That was fun. All right. I think we're ready to stamp. Let me make some room here. I do really love today's projects. Um, these celebration label dies really <laughs> lend themselves to lots of different ways to use them other than what is shown in the catalog. Um, I do want to show you in the catalog, the holiday catalog, if you have it, 
Um, this whole bundle is on page 56 and 57. And so they are showing how you can use these as cards, which is great. Um, but I, th I really think that these labels were designed to be bag toppers right here. You guys see that? It's the perfect bag topper, and that's what we're going to do in our first project. Um, there's also back here in the back of your catalog, there's even more project samples for the bundles right here. Um, on page 75, you can see they did a Valentine um, bag topper. So this really... You know, to just make quick treats where you just fill a cello bag and put on a bag topper just makes making treats really easy. Because sometimes you don't want to have to make a box or something. I get it. I know. I'm right there with you. So I'm going to show you how you can simplify, okay? Of course, we're going to emboss, which doesn't simplify, but you don't have to emboss. All right, so let's get started. The PDF, if you need it, will have um, all the measurements and the product list. If anything that I use today you want to order, it'll be listed there with the uh, item number and price. All right, let me bring everything over so I can get situated. We're going to use a Stamparatus. This guy is the one that we're going to make, and I decided we were going to do Halloween first. Y'all know I love Halloween, but you know what? Let me tell you, it was very, very hard to design my Halloween class because there I, I literally could not find Halloween candy anywhere anywhere I finally just ordered these from Amazon to put in the bag <laughs> this is some really old candy that I have in my candy cabinet old um, but I wanted some candy corn so um, I we're gonna make one with candy corn which I think of course you know is the perfect Halloween candy and these are uh, Jelly Belly candy corn. I know you either love candy corn or you hate it. I, you know, candy corn, I could take it or leave it. Um, my mom used to put candy corn in a bowl with peanuts. Uh, let me tell you, that is good. Salty and sweet, salty and sweet. Very good. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use the biggest label. I'm actually using the biggest label on all three projects today but that doesn't mean you have to use the biggest one you can do any of these projects on a smaller scale with the smaller labels the smaller labels jessica cvs is stocked i went to cvs this week and they had nothing let's see you guys are telling me also i saw somebody on last week said joanne fabrics um Helen Candy, Dollar Tree. Okay, Karen Dollar Tree is the one that I did not go to. I was going to go to the Dollar Tree yesterday, and I didn't make it there. You have a big bag of that, Carla, do you, on your desk right now? Oh, okay. You know, my candy, sugar, quarantine, let's see, how should I say that? Self-medicating <laughs> stops this weekend. I'm done. Like, I, okay, it's time to stop feeling sad or whatever about COVID and whatever and get back on track because I can't, I can't continue to eat all this sugar. It's bad. It's really bad. It's got to stop. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, it's not been, it's not been a healthy quarantine. <laughs> Let's just say that. All right. I am going to stamp the spider web. Um, here's the spider web, and there's also these cute little spiders right here, um, and we're going to use the happy haunting. Now I decided, oh, you know what? Let's let's um, score this first. We're just going to score it in half. Harris Teeter. Oh, Lisa, we don't have Harris Teeter. I don't know what that is. I'm going to score this right here at the notch, okay? Just right there so that it folds in half like that. Dollar General. I don't we have Dollar General anymore. I think all of ours have closed. I think they've all turned into Dollar Trees. Sarah, no Dollar Tree in France. Don't worry, you're not missing much. Yeah, Dollar Tree's okay. It's not my favorite. All right, so I'm going to put this on my Stamparatus because for two reasons. I want to make sure that I, where did I put my stamp? Here it is. I want to make sure that I get this straight but also I was finding that my craft white ink was not stamping very well. So if I put it on my stamp radis, I can ink it several times. So I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna pick it up 
with the plate. Hopefully that's straight. Let me see. Is that straight? It's very hard to tell actually until after you stamp it. All right, we're gonna go with it. And I'm going to use Craft White. This is our Juicy Embossing Ink. You can also use Versamark, but um, I'm using white because when you use white embossing powder, the white with white ink, it's really bright and vivid. And on black, I want it to be nice and bright. It's almost like paint, this ink. So you've got to kind of be careful. It's juicy. Oh, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to take my chamois, clean that off. And now I'm gonna lay it. Now I wanna show you something. By the way, I did clean recordings today. They'll be up on YouTube this afternoon. This was my original one. And then this is the one I did in the clean recording. Notice this, I didn't put enough space between these two spider webs. See how this one, you can barely see it. So if you're gonna do this, make sure you give yourself enough space. All right, so you might even want to kind of eyeball it. Will that be good like that? Yeah, that'll be good, okay. And hopefully we are straight on here. All right, ink, ink right here. Hi, Terry. Hair, hair Steeders the same as Randall's. We don't have Randall's either here, you guys. We have H-E-B. H-E-B is like the Walmart of Texas. I mean, we have Walmart too, but H-E-B is like, H-E-B, you know, if there's an H-E-B in town, there's there's pretty much nobody else. We have H-E-B and we have Walmart. H-E-B is really good. It's just really big. Okay, so I've done that. Now, before that ink dries, which I probably have taken too long, I'm going to get my white embossing powder, put that on there. All right, come on. Oh, did I just smear it? A little bit. Pretend like you don't see that, okay? And you know what? That's not coming off. So, if you have your embossing buddy, you can, of course, use your embossing buddy before you emboss. I don't know why we retired it, but I'm going to not use it because it's no longer for sale. So, you can get a, you can get a paintbrush and just wipe all those little extra um, powder crumbs off of your piece. Now get your heat tool. It's going to take about 15, 20 seconds to heat up to the right temperature to get this to start turning. And you'll see it. It turns really white. Um, Judy, I have duct tape on my magnets, um, so that it keeps them. They're really, really strong magnets and they will jump together if you're not paying attention and get them too close to each other. So if you put um, duct tape on your magnets, it keeps them from breaking if they jump together, but it also helps you pull them apart because they're very, very strong. Uh, Lisa, we used to have Kroger. We used to also have Albertsons. When I was growing up, there was an Albertsons close to my house. That's where we did our shopping. But here now, we got nothing. Ooh, Jennifer has a great suggestion. Cornstarch and a baby sock. Yeah, that's a great idea, Lisa and, and Jennifer, instead of um, <laughs> the embossing buddy. Because that's probably all it was, right? Okay, now, did I get that enough? Uh-oh, hold on. Nope, I did not. I was talking. Let me finish. It turns shiny. Nice and shiny. You can tell when you didn't heat it enough because it's um, not shiny. All right, now I'm gonna use one of these new bags. These are our mosaic gusseted cello bags. There are, how many are in here? 25 for $6. I thought that was pretty good. When I was typing up the list last night, I accidentally typed in the wrong thing and it came up as $11. And I was like, gosh, that's kind of expensive for cello bags. And I went back and checked. Whew, okay, it was the, I typed the wrong thing. I typed in designer series paper, which was $11. $6 is much more reasonable for 25 bags. And they're so cute. They've got that pattern. So I put my candy corn in there and I'm going to fold it over. I fold it, let's see, about three or four inches over. I don't want to cover up the candy too much. 
Let's see, let's go a little bit higher like that. Because the candy will kind of spread in there too. There we go. I'm gonna center that. And then I'm gonna grab my stapler and staple it. But don't worry, we're gonna cover up those staples in a little while, okay? Looks a little crooked, but it'll do, right? It'll do. Okay, now I've got a piece of um, Glimmer Black. This is new Glimmer Black cardstock in the holiday catalog. It's This is a one by four piece. I'm gonna put it in my pick a punch, pick a banner punch. What's it called? Pick a, <laughs> pick a banner punch, I believe. Now I didn't do that centered, so I'm gonna fix that right there with my scissors. I have cut out um, this little guy from the Tasteful Labels. We're gonna, uh, pumpkin pie cardstock, and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in memento black right there. Now the little spiders, also in the stamp set. I'm gonna stamp them in memento on white. And we're gonna bring our new cut and emboss machine back up. And I really wish that I had my magnetic platform. It's not available yet, but it's coming because for these guys, I really need it. I have a hard time getting them to stay because they're small. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there on that spider. This die set comes with two each of the little the little decorations, two spiders, two hearts, two sprigs, and then it has four of the little corner, cut the little, you know, the little things you cut from the corners. So that's cool. That way you don't have to run it twice. You can run it just once. All right, we're ready to put this together. You know, I need to get a little side table to put that on because I keep putting it on the floor. All right, dimensionals. You know, you know what though? I'm gonna show you instead of dimensionals. Let me grab an adhesive foam sheet. Since I was just telling you how why I decided to put the adhesive foam sheet in my adhesive kits. I love the adhesive foam sheets. They're like these big dimensionals. Different than um, I hope I didn't make that too long. Different than the ad adhesive str uh, foam strips. Those are thicker, they stand up taller. These are exactly like a dimensional. I love them. All right, so there. Now, what about mini dimensionals for our little spiders? So we, I've used three different kinds of dimensional adhesive here. So we'll put that one up there. And, uh-oh, did the other one crawl away? No, nope, there he is. I know some of you love spiders and you can't wait to use your spiders. I don't mind a spider. I don't like a lizard. I can handle a spider, not a lizard. And I have lizards. Ooh, do you think that's gonna be enough? Let's see. I have lizards on my front porch. All right, this is the, oh, is that gonna be long enough? Let's see, this is the black and white. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be long enough. Yes, I'm gonna make it work. This is the black and white twine from the Playful Pet ribbon and trim combo pack. And it's my favorite. Look, I made it work. Okay, so now I'm gonna move that up just a little bit higher. And I want that, now come on, little twine. I'm gonna move it over to the side like that. And there you have it, how cute is that? And that would make an easy, you know, bag topper. Now, if you don't wanna go through the embossing, like if you're gonna make these for your child's class or for kids, really, skip the embossing. Change the black paper to white cardstock and just stamp everything in black. Then you don't have to worry about the embossing and then it really is quick. Now, I did it fun in embossing because who doesn't love embossing? But if you've got to make a bunch for, you know, like for kids, they don't care. They're going to rip it open. But you want it to be cute, at least on the way to the school. <laughs> you can skip the embossing and just skip, uh, switch that from black paper to white paper and white ink to black ink. All right. So that's 
what I think, I'm assuming, was the original use for, or the original intended use for these dies, I think. They look like egg toppers to me. But in the catalog, they have used them all kinds of different ways, which is really fine because then you get a lot more use out of your dies. All right, project one is done. Let's do project number two. This is my favorite one. I was scrolling through Facebook the other day and I saw somebody had taken the lid or the label and turned it into a box lid. Isn't that cute? So that actually was my whole reason for making today Facebook Friday celebration tidings because I had to make it. Isn't that cute? Now this uses the largest label, but again, you can use you know, if you want to make a smaller box, you know, use a smaller one. You just have to change the dimensions of your bottom box, which isn't too, too hard. All right, so let's make that. And of course, it's got pumpkins. Any excuse for me to use, to use a pumpkin stamp, you know I'm going to do it. We're going to cut out the largest label again from Early Espresso. I actually played around with this box and made it three inches tall, two inches tall, and one inch tall to see which way I liked it best. And this one has two inch sides. So that's what I decided I liked the best. But you could really, you know, make it all different heights to make different size boxes with the same lid. All right, so now let's get our Simply Scored. And we're gonna score this lid at one inch on all four sides okay so one two okay let me switch that around three four there we go now for the box bottom and remember you guys this is over on the pdf so don't feel like you have to write it down go over there print this off it's free it's for you um, all the measurements are here. This is a piece of crumb cake that is six and three eighths by eight. And we're gonna score all four sides at two inches all the way around. Okay, all right. Now, we need to do our stamping. See how I did the pumpkins here on the side? We have to do that first because we can't do that after we assemble the box. I also, realize there's this stamp too and I almost just ignored it completely because I was looking at the pumpkin. So this would be another option to go somewhere in with your pumpkins. But I was like, pumpkins, oh my gosh, and was completely blinded to see that other. That's <laughs> more simpler, more simpler um, stamp. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in, oh, I hope I can, I'm gonna pull it down, memento on both sides. All right, and if you're worried about getting it straight, pull your stamp apparatus back out and use it. All right, now look, mine are a little off center, but that's okay because you're not gonna see them at the same time. One's gonna be on one side of the box and one's gonna be on the other side of the box. All right, so I'm just gonna take my dark pumpkin pie and color in this pumpkin. I'm not gonna do any shading here on the crumb cake cardstock because it won't really be very noticeable. When you color with your blends on the crumb cake cardstock, um, it's, it's very different from what it looks like on the white. I really like it, but it's just a whole different look. You can do some shading, but I don't think it's as noticeable. And we'll do some shading on the, um, the lid. All right, it's very hard to color this upside down. It shouldn't be, but it is. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark crumb cake and do the stems. And my light old olive and just kind of stamp ink really in those smaller leaves. They're very small. All the way around. Now I'm actually gonna do this four times. Um, not on the ends of the box. I don't know if it would fit on the ends of the box. I didn't measure it. 
but it looks like it would be a little bit too, you know, if we stamped it right there. Let me look, I'm not gonna stamp it, but yeah, see, it would be, you could, you would just have to mask off those sides so that it didn't spill over into, you know, the front. All right, but we're gonna do it twice on the, the top of the box too. Now, here's the deal for what's inside this box. Cause you guys know, I like to design boxes around the treat. I went to Target. Target is my go-to for pumpkin spice. They have pumpkin spice everything. They had nothing yesterday, nothing. Now, granted, what is today? The 21st, but I don't feel like it's too early for pumpkin spice, do you guys? I feel like I've seen some pumpkin spice, like commercials and stuff, I don't know, but whatever. So there's nothing in my box, but I'm sure I will find some pumpkin spice something to put in here. All right, I'm gonna cut the corners off. Also, you know, if you make little pumpkin muffins or, you know, pumpkin bread, that would be, that would be nice in here. You'd have to wrap it um, or put it in a bag first, but then you could put it in this box. All right, now I'm gonna cut these score lines on the short sides all the way over. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my adhesive. I'm gonna use Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm gonna put it right here on the triangles. There we go. Danielle says, they had Christmas and pumpkin spice out for my birthday in July last year, but not this year. <sighs> it's probably because it's 2020, right? Ugh. COVID has ruined everything, even pumpkin spice. Okay, now I'm gonna see what I'm doing. I'm just folding those in and then folding the sides up. I did hear today though, see there's our box. I did hear today though that the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is still a go, right? That's exciting. Denise, come on, little Debbie, right? Denise, I looked at both Walmart and Target, little Debbie, nothing, nothing. I don't know. I don't know, they're late this year. All right, now we're gonna do the lid exactly like we did the bottom, except we don't need to cut off the corners, but we're gonna cut these score lines right here on the ends like that, okay? And then a little bit of stamp and seal plus. And fold them in to the sides like that. Ooh, Jill says, pumpkin spice Milano cookies from Pepperidge Farms, yum. Have you seen those this year, Jill? Have you seen those in the store yet? That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, Danielle, darn you 2020. All right, look, there's your lid. And you know, that could even be like a little box bottom, like a little tray. So cute, and just a one inch on all four sides. You know, if you did two of them, they would fit together too. Hmm. I didn't think about that. All right, there you go. Fits perfectly on your box, okay? Now, if this doesn't, if, you know, pumpkin, this doesn't float your boat, change it. Change it, do Christmas, do back to school, do anything, any theme. Just change the colors and the stamps and you've got a treat box. All right, so I'm gonna stamp these on a piece of Whisper White. Same thing, memento. Oh, see, Karen says, I had my first pumpkin spice iced coffee from Duncan. I knew I had seen that the drinks were out. I knew I had seen that. There we go. Now I feel like I might have done those a little bit too far apart. Nope, perfect. Again, if you feel like you can't get that straight, just pull out your stamparatus and it'll be just fine. You'll be able to do it, no problem. All right, so this time for the pumpkins, I'm gonna start with my light pumpkin pie, stamp and blend, and I'm gonna give it a little coating of light. Then I'm gonna switch over to my dark, and I'm gonna go around those, those lines. 
I'm also going to go down here along the bottom and right here where that pumpkin overlaps the other pumpkin. Then I'm going to take my light and just blend it all together. Okay. Now we'll do this side. I had um, a neighbor who was pretty much obsessed with pumpkin spice and Target equally as much as I am. And she always would post pictures of the pumpkin spice things that she found at Target. She has since moved away, but she still does post things. She just doesn't have a Target poster anymore. Um, but I would always laugh because as soon as I saw her pictures, I knew, okay, time to go find some cute little things for projects. I was very, you know, they've redone our Target. I know I've talked about this before and I do not like it. Um, I prefer <laughs> Target, our Target was a grocery store and I preferred it over our big HEB. Not that our big HEB isn't great. It's just that it was so big and it is like, you know, a two hour ordeal to get through that store. And so I liked the, our grocery store Target because you could just run in there, get the few things you needed. It still has groceries, our Target, but not like it used to. And it's just, I don't I feel like it's not as exciting as it used to be to go to Target. Are y'all's Targets like that? I don't know. I still do love Target. Not as much as TJ Maxx. That's my favorite place these days. Do you guys visit TJ Maxx and Home Goods? It's my, like when I just need to like get out of the house, that's where I go. Although I will say, TJ Maxx has been struggling too. I guess because of everything, they haven't, they're not getting as many shipments and the shelves are kind of bare. I did ask and she said they were only getting half as many shipments as they used to. Okay, Whisper White on pumpkin pie. You know, I know that there are more important things going on in life, but sometimes, you know, for your own, you know, mental health, you need to just have a little me time at Target for home goods. <laughs> Red Barn Roosters Pumpkin Vanilla Coffee. Ooh, that sounds good. Perfection and they ship to your door. Okay, Mariah, I'm looking that up because I've never heard of it. That sounds delicious. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I will in the fall visit some lattes and some, <laughs> you know, some fancy drinks like that. As long as it doesn't taste too much like coffee. This summer, I discovered at Starbucks, you know, when you have teenage girls, that's it, all they want to do is go to Target. I mean, uh, Starbucks. I discovered their, um, oh, I can't even remember what it's, dragon fruit lemonade. Oh, it was delicious. See, I don't need to know about things at Target. I mean, at, again, I said it again, at um, Starbucks. Although we go... We go frequently, my teenage daughter, my oldest especially. But although we have a Duncan now here close and she's decided she loves Duncan, it's a lot cheaper. All right, so I've stamped the sentiment on um, crumb cake, cardstock, it's a half inch strip. And I stamped an early espresso and I'm just gonna stick it right between those. Man, I cannot believe I stamped those exactly right. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, but has to have a bow. All right, and we will use our faux suede early espresso ribbon. Refreshers, Ellen, yes, I think that's what it was called. Dragon fruit lemonade refresher. And yes, Ginger, you're right, Starbucks is at Target. That's probably why I kept calling it Target, because every time I go to Target and I have one of the girls with me. Oh, can we get Starbucks? Someday, they won't be able to drink all those drinks like they do now. I keep telling them. All right, you guys, there's our little box. It doesn't, it It makes me think of like a little, if you made a, like a little mini pumpkin loaf, you know, like pumpkin bread, a little, little one would fit in here nicely. I just think it's so cute. Adorbs. We gotta make it in Christmas colors too, for sure. And Valentine's colors. Ooh, I hope it carries over. I bet it does. Valentine's for sure. 
All right, Joy, you're a coffee holic. You know, I'm a Diet Coke holic, and don't, you guys, you don't need to tell me. I know, I know it's bad for me. I know. I wish that I liked coffee so that then I could, I feel like coffee would be a better vice than Diet Coke. A, a more, less unhealthy, maybe, is that it? Less unhealthy. <laughs> Okay, so project number two, done. I've got one more. Oh, and I'm right on time today. One more. We're going to make this little treat holder the same label, and I'm going to show you how to make some little sides to turn it into a little box. Now, in here are these Ghirardelli double, you know, it's like two squares put together. And again, these are from my candy cabinet. I have a candy cabinet that has old candy in it. That way I don't eat it and I can just use it for projects. These are, at our CVS and at Walmart, they have um, like little 100 calorie Twix and 100 calorie Snickers and 100 calorie uh, Milky Ways. These are usually there with it with those. Um, so, but if you can't find those, I mean, you could do anything, but you could also just use four regular Ghirardelli's. They would be the same size and they would fit in here perfectly. Okay? Okay. Let's, um, I'm also using the poinsettia dyes. Ginger, I'm glad you're here. Ginger likes poinsettias. She was upset last year. We didn't have anything in our catalog. And now we have a whole suite. They heard you, Ginger. They knew you wanted it. All right, so we're going to cut this out in soft suede, the largest, again, the largest label. We're going to do quite a bit of die cutting for this one. So let's do this first. And I think I may need to grab some more paper because my DSP is looking a little small. Thanks, Don. I appreciate it. All right, so we've got that. Then we're going to cut out the poinsettia, 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 however you want to say it, right here. And let me grab those dies. So we've got lots of choices here big medium and small and extra small we're going to use small and whoa i just flew through a die this die actually is two pieces like this see so you can cut it out like you can stamp it and cut it out or just solid or you can put this little center in here and that's going to give it that texture and it's going to look like a real flower all right so i'm going to put that there and then i'm going to get the extra small one too We'll cut that one out. Then we're going to go back over to our Celebration Labels dies. If I can pick them up. They're a mess. And I'm going to get these two little sprigs right here. And we're going to cut those from the brushed metallic cardstock. Uh-oh. I knocked that over. Okay. Now, I will tell you that these... The insides are like a little puzzle piece, and I don't know if I have them right. If you take it and you turn it and turn it, it will, you'll find, there we go, now I have it. You'll find the right fit, because it's not symmetrical. It's wonky. All the, all the petals are different, so it won't fit exactly the right way unless you turn it and turn it and turn it and find it. All right, now we've got that one. The little small one, and we'll get that one. Okay, now what else did I need to die cut? Oh yes, this paper that I'm using is the Poinsettia Paper, Designer Series Paper, let me tell you the name. Poinsettia Place Designer Series Paper. And I have just this tiny piece and I don't think this is going to be big enough. This is the this is not the largest die. This is the next down. And we need to cut, yep, see, we need to cut about half of it. So let me grab another piece over here somewhere. Um, I've got a brand new pack, but I don't see. Oh, well, we'll open the brand new pack and we'll cut it down. Here's the paper in case you haven't seen it. Let's see. See, it's got lots of pretty, almost said flavors. It's got lots of pretty flavors. I really like that one. Of course, it's on the back of the other one that I really like, this one. Okay, so I'm not going to measure it. Let's see. I just need about that size. <laughs> about that size. And 
we're gonna put it on here like this and we're gonna put it above the notch. Okay, we want it to be a little bit smaller than the other one. So we're gonna put it above the notch, run it through. And there we have it. It always makes me think of like um, a bed, you know, like a headboard on a bed. Let's see, now, okay, before we start assembling all of that, we need to do some score lines. So put your large label on your Simply Scored, and let me look at my notes so I don't tell you the wrong thing. Mm, did I change that? You know what, hold on. Where's my other, because I changed it this morning. Yep, it's wrong, I need to change this. See where it says two and three fourths? It needs to say two and a half. Two and a half and three and a half. I need to change that. Okay, so two and a half and three half. I'll go change it as soon as I'm done. So if you've already printed out your PDF, make sure that you make note of that. Um, now, you're gonna need two pieces that are um, two and seven eighths by one and three fourths. On the long side, you're gonna score at one and one and seven eighths, and then turn it and score it at one. Okay, so one, one and seven eighths, and one. Now these little guys are gonna be our sides. Okay, and you're not really gonna see them, so don't worry terribly about them. We're just gonna cut right here these two little lines, and we're gonna fold them like that. See how we're making a corner? So we're gonna put our adhesive, which is way over here, on the two ends of the shorter section. So this is one inch, and this is uh, seven eighths, right? Seven eighths. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn that in, and turn that in like that. Okay, so really the only thing you're gonna see is that right there. Okay, so let's do that again. Cut and cut. And adhesive on the ends and then fold them in like that. Okay, now over here, we're gonna put them. Okay, this one looks like it's a little bit wide why did it look wide did it not i did not push it in far enough hold on let me get it right make sure those edges are lined up we're gonna adhere these like this right here so i'm gonna put on both sides and put adhesive here here and here okay so here and if you're using liquid this will probably be easier than doing this but this is how i'm doing it <laughs> set that right there and set that one right there match those edges, and then you're gonna fold it up and push that into those sides. Okay, and look, a box. Pretty easy, right? I think so. All right, now let's put all this together. Let me see, this still is too big. I did this earlier today. We gotta trim this down so that it kind of leaves a border around it. There we go, see how that's better? So we'll put that one right there. And we've got our little sprigs and our little flowers. And I'm gonna take my bone folder. Oh, don't tell me you're not here. It was here this morning when I did my earlier videos. I probably, oh, hello, right here. You guys were probably yelling at me. All right, I'm just gonna take it and very gently kind of curl up those petals like that. Be careful because you'll rip if you push or um, pull too hard. All right, now I'm gonna get a glue dot. And I don't know where my take your pick tool is. I do have it, I have the wrong end on it. I need my other one. Oh, here it is, right here. Let's take that, put that right there. Oh, come on, there we go. Now we also have these gorgeous new 
what are they called? Beaded pearls. Look at those, aren't those elegant? Just real fancy looking. And I'm gonna put that on with a glue dot as well in the center of my flower. There we go. And now I have cut out a label already. This is from the Hippo and Friends dies. Remember those from the annual catalog. And it's very vanilla. It's the smaller, the smallest one in this set. And it's very vanilla because our paper, DSP, is very vanilla. It's not Whisper White. All right, now, I feel like we need to do a dimensional here for our flower. You know what? Let's do something. Let's see. If I stick that there and that in there and then the flower on top of it, look at that. There we go. How pretty. Okay. And I really like those Ghirardellis, um, the gold wrapper matched really well with the brushed metallic cardstock. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. Christine, I agree, the embellishments in the new holiday catalog are very good. I totally agree. All right, now, we are going to punch a hole right here and right here. And I'm gonna get my braided linen trim and thread it right through. Well, now I've frayed it right through the other side. And we will tie a bow and call it a day. Done. What do you guys think? That's a fun one, isn't it? That's really fun. All right. So three different ways. And you know, last week, was it last week or the week before we did, didn't we do, hmm, I thought I had it here. I think we did. We did this one. Yeah, we did this one, right? So now look, you even have four different ways. We did this two weeks ago. Four different ways to use your celebration label dies. Right? Awesome. So many ways. And I'm sure that there will be more ways that people come up with. Now, if you would like these make and takes for free, I will send them to you for free with an online order of $35 or more. I remember what I was going to tell you earlier. Bonus bucks. Have you guys used your bonus days coupons from um, July? You have until the end of August. Don't forget about those um, for every $50 you spent in July, Stampin' Up! mailed you, emailed you a $5 coupon. And there's no minimum for those, you guys. You need to get online and use them. And you can use them together if you have more than one. So this order, to get these for free, your subtotal at the end has to be $35. Okay, so after you use your coupons, but before shipping and tax. I'll send you these for free next week, okay? Um, you'll need the dies and the stamps. And I'll send you everything else. We'll ink and adhesive too, obviously. All right. Now you guys next week, there's not going to be a Facebook Friday next week. We have a leadership summit. Stampin' Up! is doing a leadership summit Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I was supposed to be in New Orleans, but well, you know, so it's online and it's literally like all day. So there will be no Facebook Friday next week. However, I'm going to have an ordering incentive next week, a dog days of summer ordering incentive. So be on the lookout for that, okay? And fingers crossed, my plan next week is to get my BOGO sale ready and to have it the first week of September, okay? Fingers crossed because it is a lot of work and it's all in my garage and it's super hot out there. So hopefully... I will have it ready for you guys the first week of September. So be on the lookout. Um, yes, Marianne, I'll show you just a second. So be on the lookout. If you're not on my email list, make sure you um, sign up for my email. I will update the video up top here with a link to do that. So you'll see when my BOGO sale is and the order incentive for next week. Let me show the adhesive kits one more time right here. They come in this super duper cute little bag that'll be great for you to take to crops 
and classes. Um, you get in the kit a stamp and seal, a pack of dimensionals, a bottle of Tombow, a box of mini glue dots, two foam adhesive sheets, and a, a third of a pack of, it of the regular adhesive sheets, as well as the tote bag. It's $33 plus $8 shipping. You can add on stamp and seal, stamp and seal plus, or stamp and seal refill, stamp and seal plus, and a stamp and seal plus refill if you want. Um, all of them are tax-free catalog price because I ordered them during our tax-free weekend um, a few weeks ago. So I'm passing that savings on to you. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. And I will see you in two weeks, okay, in September. Hopefully school has started and everybody's back to school by then. <laughs> Whatever that looks like. Um, Cheryl, no, you can't just get the bag. I ordered just enough bags for the kids. Sorry about that. All right, you guys, have a great weekend and I will be in touch. Bye.